Hi, do you know the word L-I-V-E? Well, sometimes it's pronounced live and sometimes it's pronounced live. And then there's a word alive. So what's the difference between live, live and alive? This is Susan Broder from Speak Languages and Travel the World, here to help you improve your English with minimum effort and maximum benefit. Uh, so today I was approached by someone who asked me the difference between these three words. And it occurred to me that uh, a few years ago I was um, uh, very interested in watching my daughter take part in the Berlin Marathon. And so I asked her if there was any live streaming, which meant I could actually watch her from home live whilst she was racing. Uh, so I turned on the um, TV and uh, I was really, really lucky because having connected my computer to it, I realized that she had managed to get into the front line. We're speaking about inline speed skating here. And uh, she was one of the people in the very front line, so I was really excited to watch it. And it was live, which meant as she raced, I could see what was happening. It was really, really exciting. So that's what live means. Live means uh, you can watch something as it's happening. You can go to a live uh, concert and listen to music live, or you can watch a recording. A recording is not live. In fact, I then subsequently watched various recordings of my daughter, but they were not live. So the spelling L-I-V-E can pr be pronounced live, but can also be pronounced live. Now, live is the verb that most people know in uh, the sentence, well, where do you live? So, uh, live means um, that it's a place where you spend your time, your residence, where you sleep, eat and have your family. Uh, that's the place where you live. Uh, of course, when you go on holiday, you may live elsewhere, in a hotel, uh, in a tent, in a camper. But live is um, your daily life uh, from the morning when you wake up in your bed till the time you go to sleep again and where you often may uh, relax or eat or study or work. Uh, so that's where you live. Uh, which is written the same as live, L-I-V-E. So the only way you can tell the difference in pronunciation is from the context. Uh, uh, I'm watching something on TV and it's live, means it's happening in this second, or uh, I live in a house rather than I live in a flat, I live in an apartment. Uh, then there is alive. Well, um, many years ago, I was driving along the road and I saw a small hedgehog trying to cross the road. Now, it was going really, really slowly, so I felt it was in danger and I picked it up and realized it was having difficulty breathing. So I took it home, I put it in my garden, but I didn't want it to go away. So I put a kind of um, box over it, which was uh, actually a fruit and vegetable box. So it was transparent, it had a kind of a web, a mesh, so that uh, this hedgehog could breathe and I could see it moving, but it couldn't escape. And I, I left it there for about uh, half an hour and it looked as if it was fine. And then I drove to school to pick up my children. I wanted to surprise them and show them this hedgehog before lifting up uh, the box and letting it roam wherever it pleased. So when the children came home, I said, look, children, I've brought you home a hedgehog. Look how nice it is. And we started looking at it but it didn't move, not even a little bit. So I lifted up the box and my son said, but are you sure it's alive? In the sense, uh, are you sure it's uh, still breathing? It's uh, still going to be able to live? And uh, it didn't move at all. I turned it over 
and it didn't look as if it was sleeping it really um, looked even almost a bit rigid so in doubt I left it in a corner of the garden under a bush thinking that uh, if it was resting in any case it would uh, go away after a while but the next morning it was there it was not alive and then I uh, got a little bit of information and discovered that many hedgehogs suffer from a kind of cancer and so they become slower and slower and finally they die and I had probably rescued a dying hedgehog so it was not alive anymore. These are three stories to illustrate uh, the difference between alive when you are not dead, you are alive live when something is happening at the moment and you can observe it usually through some kind of screen uh, be it a computer a tv or something else and uh, finally live which is where you spend your time uh, especially when you sleep there and eat there you live somewhere Okay, so I hope it was useful for you, uh, for me to distinguish the difference between live, live and alive. And please write in the comments below if you have any ideas on the sentences to illustrate the differences between live, live and alive. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.